Hello, LED boys and girls. How are you? I hope all of you had a wonderful week knowing God and following Him. Guys, it is Sunday and we want to worship our God with all of our hearts for who He is and for all the wonderful things that He has done for us, right? So, let us start our worship service by praising our God's name with our praise songs.
Paul wrote a letter to the church at Ephesus. He reminded them of the wonderful blessings people have when they belong to Jesus. This is what Paul said. Before you knew Jesus, you were dead in your sins. You used to live like the world, like those who choose to disobey God. We all live like that, doing whatever felt right to us. But God, who is full of mercy because of his great love that he had for us, made us alive with Christ. We were spiritually dead and he gave us life. You were saved by grace. Then Paul explained what else God has done for everyone who trusts in Jesus. God raised us up with Christ and gave us a seat with him in the heavens. This way, he can show us grace and kindness both now and for all time. For you are saved by grace through faith, and this is not from yourselves. It is God's gift, not from works, so that no one can boast. We are God's masterpiece created in Christ Jesus to do the good works God has prepared for us to do. Paul reminded the Ephesians that they were Gentiles, not Jews. You were born outside of God's chosen people. You were not part of Israel. You didn't know God and you had no hope, he said. But now, Jesus has brought you into God's family by dying on the cross. Before, Jews and Gentiles were separated by hate. Paul said, Jesus is our peace, bringing together Jews and Gentiles as one group. You aren't strangers anymore. You are all members of God's household, and Jesus holds this house together. This was why Paul was a prisoner. He dedicated his life to sharing the good news of Jesus with Gentiles. God called Paul to this work so all people, Jews and Gentiles, would know that they are members of the same body partners in the promises of Jesus. The gospel brings together all people who have faith in Jesus. God's salvation is a gift of grace, not something we can earn with good works. Forgiven sinners come together as the church to obey God and do his work in the world. All right, everyone, good job. Today's story point is this. The gospel brings different people together at the church. The gospel brings different people together as the church. That's right. Guys, our Bible passage is on Ephesians chapter 2, verse 1 to 10. Ephesians 2, 1 to 10. Let's read it together. As for you, you were dead in your transgressions and sins in which you used to live when you followed the ways of this world and of the ruler of the kingdom of the air, the spirit who is now at work in those who are disobedient. All of us also lived among them at one time, gratifying the cravings of our flesh and following its desires and thoughts. Like the rest, we were by nature deserving of wrath. But because of his great love for us, God, who is rich in mercy, made us alive with Christ, even when we are dead in transgressions. It is by grace you have been saved. And God raised us with Christ and seated us with him in the heavenly realms in Christ Jesus, in order that in the coming ages he might show the incomparable riches of his grace expressed in his kindness to us in Christ Jesus. For it is by grace you have been saved, through faith, And this is not from yourselves, it is the gift of God, not by works so that no one can boast. For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. Amen. Everyone, Paul is talking about the church in the book of Ephesians, and he preached unity in church. Church is, by definition, the body of believers in Christ. They are all together in Christ. The church is the body of Christ. That means, in order for us to be part of church, we must be connected with each other, with love, and we must be connected with God through Jesus. And we know that the body has also a lot of different members, right? It had its hands, its feet, 
its chest, you know, hoodie, it has everything. And all of them are different members, but all of them are important. So, for us to be in the church, we must be two things. Connected with God through Jesus and connected each with each other as members of the same body. And today, we want to talk about who we are as a church and what we should do as the church. So, Paul taught three things uh, in today's passage. Number one, we were lost in sin. Guys, Ephesians chapter 2, verse 1 and 2, it reads, As for you, you were dead in your transgressions and sins, in which you used to live when you followed the ways of this world and of the ruler of the kingdom of the air, the spirit who is now at work in those who are disobedient. Everyone, the Bible is telling us that we are all dead in our sins, spiritually dead. And it says that we used to live uh, following the desires of the ruler and the kingdom of the kingdom of the air, which is Satan, the spirit who is now at work in those who are disobedient. Guys, some of you might wonder, but am I also a sinner? I know I'm kind. I know I do a lot of good works. Uh, I think I'm good. I don't need salvation. Well, if we see in verse 3, the Bible tells us that all of us also lived among them at one time. We were living in sin before we met Jesus. All of us. Following the desires and thoughts of our flesh. Hmm. And because of that, we were by nature deserving of wrath deserving of anger. Romans chapter 5 verse 10 says that we were enemies of God before. Yes. Then what should we do? Well, we should believe that God made a plan. An amazing thing happened after that. Verse 4 and 5 says, But because of His great love for us, God, who is rich in mercy, made us alive with Christ even when we are dead in our transgressions. It is by grace you have been saved. Everyone, even when we were His enemies, God came to meet us and love us in human form through His Son, Jesus Christ. Verse 4, And God raised us up with Christ and seated us with Him in the heavenly realms of Christ Jesus. God forgave us from our transgressions, our sins, and gave us eternal life in heaven with Jesus to all who believes. God adopted us into His family. And for it is by grace that we are saved, and not by works, so no one can boast. It was a gift from God. Our salvation was a gift from God. All we have to do in order to be saved is to believe in this story, is to trust in God's goodness and kindness. We get our salvation by faith, not by works. So what now? Now that we know that we are connected with God through Jesus Christ, what we should do as the church? Well, the Bible tells us that we should do the good works of God. God prepared in advance for us to do those good works. It says in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10. God created you, He designed you, and He empowered you so He could do His good works. And those who truly know God, they will... Uh, demonstrate their faith by pursuing to, uh, obedience to God's commands because they believe in God's goodness. And we will stop living for ourselves and start doing what God wants us to do, what God created and designed us to do. Those who are children of God will 
find their true identity as a church by pursuing a pattern, a pattern of repenting from sin, turning away from sin, and start following Jesus. We all, we all have a lot of idols in our lives. Uh, recognition is one of them. We want to uh, be recognized as a good people. But when we start uh, walking with Jesus and obeying God, uh, we understand that our life is so much better when we honor God above our own fleshly desires. So I hope you can, we can all come to meet Jesus in such depth that we can truly start obeying God because we trust Him, not because we want to get better. Amen? That was today's story, and I hope you enjoyed it. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for today's story, Lord. We learned today that we are united in a lot of things. We are united in our sinfulness. All of us has sinned, and all of us had felt short of your glory. And we are united uh, by grace. We are saved by grace. And also we are united as the church, as the body of Christ. Lord, help us to remember and help us to understand that we are your children now and we want to start following you more and more. Even though sometimes we might fall short of uh, your requirements, we are still in the process of becoming more like Jesus. Help us to remember that and find comfort and peace. Uh, thank you so much and we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, everyone, good job. I hope you enjoyed today's story. And now let's do our activity pages to learn more about God and more about today's story. Okay, thank you and see you all next week. Bye.